so this is sun this is sun and this is the earth's axis axis of earth so now we find that it is not sun is not hitting half of the axis it is hitting this area this area is being heated by the sun तो सन का जो इल्यूमिनेशन एरिया है वो ये है ये सुनो कैन यू सी द नॉर्दर्न हेमिस्फीयर अ लॉट ऑफ नॉर्दर्न हेमिस्फीयर इज एक्सपोज टू सन सो दिस इज वॉट नॉर्दर्न हेमिस्फीयर समर दिस इज नॉर्दर्न हेमिस्फीयर समर इन दिस इफ यू आर इन द आर्कटिक सर्कल देर विल बी नो सनसेट 24 hours day here what will it be 24 hours night this is which month when the sun has come here we are in the month of june but when we are in the month of december in december the situation changes now which part of the earth is this is our axis this is our axis but the sun that we are looking at sun is illuminating this part so northern hemisphere only this much is illuminated but southern hemisphere more area is under sun yes or no so this is what southern hemisphere summer southern hemisphere summer so sun is deciding the heat sun is deciding the heat and imagine if the earth had no tilt if the earth was straight and it was going like this then half the earth on the axis itself would have got illuminated then there would be no seasons there would be no season so it's summer and december this is what i had requested ki isko ek bar video mein zarur dekhna aur usko hame kaise dekhna hai hame geographical dekhna hai yes can you see this is the arctic area आर्कटिक एरिया दिखाई दे रहा है बिकॉज ऑफ द टिल्थ ऑफ द अर्थ एक्सिस दिस आर्कटिक एरिया विल ऑलवेज स्टे इन द इल्यूमिनेटेड जोन 24 फोर आवर्स ऑफ डे एंड वेन वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट दिस अंटार्कटिक रीजन इसका क्या हो रहा है ये अंधेरे में रहेगा मोस्टली दिस विल रिमेन मोस्टली इन द डार्कनेस इज एवरी वन ओके थ्री डिफरेंट सिटीज एट थ्री डिफरेंट लैटिट्यूड दिस वन गेट्स डे लाइट येस दिस वन गेट्स more daylight this one gets average daylight this one gets very little daylight and mostly night so duration of day and night duration of day and night and seasons happen because of this so ye maine aap logon se request kiya tha ki isko dekhiyega when we are in march and september march and september equinox equal day equal night but in the month of june can you see which hemisphere is tilted towards this so this is the northern hemisphere so northern hemisphere gets more more heat northern hemisphere will get more heat northern hemisphere can you see northern hemisphere is getting more heat and in winter in december which hemisphere is getting more heat the southern hemisphere is getting more heat in this the northern hemisphere was getting more heat summer for northern hemisphere and in this summer for winter hemisphere and this will have an impact on our isotherms is everyone okay